Hurricane Zeta is now making landfall on the Yucatan Peninsula here on Sunday night. At this time, though, the storm is rated a Category 1 hurricane just south of Cancun. Actually, a very similar track than we've seen with Delta just a few weeks ago. The big difference being that Zeta is much weaker. Winds right now are 80, gusting up to 103 miles per hour. Weaker is relative, though. By no means is as weak. It is going to bring some fairly gusty winds, especially that right front quadrant up towards Cancun. But also um, a fairly decent heavy rainfall across the Yucatan. Now, as we look ahead, though, this is just basically going to bump over this. And by the time we head into Tuesday, it already be past the Yucatan Peninsula back into the Gulf of Mexico. It is going to start to encounter a bit of shear as it pushes off towards the north. But still, at this time, the National Hurricane Center actually expects it to maintain its hurricane status as it comes on shore very likely into Louisiana. That is why hurricane watches have been issued out there. Also, even tropical storm watches uh, a little bit further towards the east into Florida, which is very well likely because remember, this is going to move off towards the north and then begin to recurve with the higher of the winds likely being on the eastern periphery. So even a chance of a bit of a storm surge well off towards the east of that center of circulation. As far as the guidance hits concerned, fair confidence of where this is going to be going, rounding high pressure area back towards the east. And remember, these storm systems like to basically flow like water down a hill towards areas of low pressure. We have a trough actually starting to dig in out of the central U.S. That's supporting a bit of a front with it. And once that starts to come through, as we go ahead by Wednesday, Wednesday night into Thursday, overall, that entire low pressure area is going to pick this up and pull it off towards the northeast. So I do expect a landfall by Wednesday night, and eventually the storm is going to continue to track all the way off towards the northeast. But by that point, it's really going to start to merge up with this upper level low and will no longer be tropical. But uh, all of that moisture is going to be flowing with it, even in here into Florida where I am, Thursday night into Friday morning. It's fairly promising for some decent, decent rainfall. So the earliest reasonable arrival time of tropical storm strength winds likely are going to be a Wednesday morning in Louisiana. Remember, that is not landfall time. That is the earliest time when we'll start to see those gustier winds up to 34 to 40 knots tropical strength, storm strength. And then eventually by Wednesday night, a little bit further off towards the north and east. Storm surge potential. If this does come on shore right like that, we will begin to see some of those waves be pushed up up that water be pushed up kind of like a snow plow especially into these bays and inlets here along the coast of new orleans even over through mississippi yes biloxi Gulfport, um all areas that could be impacted by a four to six foot surge and even well towards the east across the big bend here about one to three feet so a lot of problems with this storm system even further away from that center of circulation but landfall likely going to be in new orleans with the highest impact there the 11th name hurricane by the way of 2020 and heavy rainfall very well likely further inland once this does get wrapped up by the way i am meteorologist robert spett if you don't follow me on all these social media platforms please do and as always stay safe out there